Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. I'm back out at the retreat, putting some final touches on the off-grid solar power project here. I temporarily removed the 2 meter mobile radio. I gotta find a new spot for it here in the box, or maybe get a smaller one, so I could fit in my pure sine wave inverter, so I can have AC voltages out here at this location. I also added the Linksys WET54G Wi-Fi bridge. That's up there in the top of the box. And for that I use that Velcro that comes with those electronic toll tags that you put on your windshield. They never seem to fall off, cold or hot, so I ordered some of that on Amazon and used that to hold that up. But I don't suspect that the temperatures are going to get too hot here in the box. There's a temperature sensor. If it hits 85 degrees in the box, the temperature relay switch will cut on and turn that exhaust fan on and should keep everything cool. I used a reverse polarity SMA cable. 12 inches. I wish I had gotten two feet this time because I didn't make it down to the bottom side of the box. So I had to drill a hole in the side of the box there temporarily to get that SMA connector on the outside for the antenna. So let me turn the camera off for a second, reposition, and show you where the temporary antenna is. So here's the temporary, it might be permanent, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, bulkhead SMA connector connected to a high gain Yagi antenna that I was using for another project. I left the waterproof grommets and the antenna that came with the kit back at the house so that's coming out here tomorrow with the family. So this is a temporary setup just for tonight so I can do some programming now that I can access this whole system over the internet. But I only have to go 65 feet because my Wi-Fi router is attached to a floor joist there in the corner of the crawl space. So even with the whip antenna I think we should do fine. So the solar power project, even though it's completed, it's coming along. Phase two will be putting conduit in from here all the way down to the house, just below that electrical panel. I'll have to pull a whole new set of permits for that job, that phase two job, because now that's going to involve alternating current and a conduit run coming up here. We'll bring it into the bottom side of the Hoffman box, and then we'll be able to connect the inverter permanently down to the house over there where that manual generator transfer switch inlet is. So there's a quick update on the off-grid solar power project. I'm sure I'm boring you to death on this, but I'm getting so close to getting this done so I can move on to other stuff. I'm really glad that I'm able to access this now over the internet and keep an eye on the system. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with another short update from the retreat. And you guys got the sneak preview here because I made another video to post on the new YouTube channel I have, Off Grid Cabin. So we're going to make a more in-depth video on that Wi-Fi bridge for that channel. And I did a little intro video on this off-grid system here in my rainwater harvester for that channel. Thanks for watching, guys.